Hey everyone out there, welcome back to the episode of Uncensored Solar TV, brought to you by my amazing and dedicated team here at Solar Wolf Energy. And I wanna to talk to you today about what to watch out for during times of desperation and economy for solar. What I mean by that is it seems right now more than ever, if you're the homeowner, if you're the business owner, there's actually some great deals to be had right now because of this whole COVID-19 thing. That said, you may want to peel back the layers and look at as to why these companies are doing this. So some of these companies are doing, I'll give you an example, six months of no bills, meaning that they're going to pay your electricity bill while you're waiting to get installed after you've signed a contract. You want to look at a couple of things when you're looking at this. A, is there a cap on it? Like it's going to set you at $150 a month and that's it. That's all they're going to pay. Also, why is the company really really doing this? Is it that the sales have dropped off the table and they're not meeting their financial obligations because the revenue is way down, which is most likely the case for the majority of these companies? Excuse me. What I don't like in this industry, and, and if you've watched this channel, if you understand you know, what it is, what we're doing here, we're probably the most disliked solar company in solar by other companies. And it's because we speak a lot of uh, what's going on that the, the, the homeowners and the customers don't know. We try to bring it to light. My focus is on education and bringing the actual truth to you folks. And what's going on right now in solar is there's a lot of panic. The Zoom calling, uh, trying to sell solar over the phone and trying to sell solar over the internet has never really been a really successful model as, as a whole. Of course, there are some anomalies. There's gonna be some solar sales agents out there that can do this pretty successfully. But the truth is, if you're trying to sell somebody, whether it's $10,000 or $110,000 solar array for someone's home, someone's personal residence, the best course of action is to be able to see the home, see the roof condition, see the roof structure, if it's gonna be a ground mount, if there's enough land, if there's water nearby, whether it's moving water or standing water, how close are we to the neighbor's property, how close are we to the utility lines, things like that. But also, what you need to understand is some of these companies have shareholders and they need to report based on how many megawatts are under contract or have been sold, because that's the thing that moves the needle for them. And I'm, what I'm talking about is these solar installation companies. These companies are doing a lot of these gimmicks, we'll call them, or schemes right now, and they're doing them from a place of desperation. I've never liked a business that does uh, any kind of charitable things or any kind of financial incentives only when it's needed. When things were great in solar, they were just keeping and taking all the money and who knows what they were doing it. Look at some of the salaries from some of these people. It's outrageous, okay? What I like is what we as a company have done. Of course, I'm gonna like it, I'm biased. It's, it's, it's some of, our, some of our, our doing here, but some of the you know no, no payments for six months or what have you. We've been doing this almost since we opened the doors in 2015. Um, our vice president, Taylor Bennett, she's an uh, incredibly dedicated and incredibly talented woman that works here, and I'm, I'm proud to have her here uh, with me. And this was actually her concept, her idea. Uh, and I can't, for the, for the, you know, to recollect at this time, I can't think anybody was doing this back in 2015, 2016. I, I believe it was just us. Um, and I could be wrong. If there was a few others, I, you know, hats off to the innovation. But um, I, I, I like to think that great companies innovate and lead and, and subpar companies follow and pick up the slack. Um, and, and they suck up the, the, the crap, really. I don't like companies, and you shouldn't like companies, that do things out of desperation. And right now, it's smelling pretty desperate out there. Which means for you guys as potential customers, that means there's a lot of opportunity. So, but you need to tiptoe around the landmines. If a company is doing really bad financially, how can they offer you a warranty and stand by it if they're not gonna be around in 12 months. Food for thought. 
So I implore you to do even more research than you would have normally done a couple of months ago, a couple of years ago in solar, because things are a little different today. Make sure you go out and you drive the neighborhoods and you see some of the installs some of these companies have done. Ask about their financials. If they're really, really good, they'll tell you. And they can give you examples and maybe they'll even show you. If you ask and it's a, yeah, no, it's a very defensive, closed off question, then, well, I mean, then it's probably not a good, uh, good futuristic outlook for this company, which means your warranty that you're going to get from them is probably uh, about as good as toilet paper. So um, I, I just want you guys to be prepared and I want you guys to be ready and I want you guys to research uh, what to do and, and how to go about going, navigating through this, this, this time right now with solar for your home because your home is an enormous investment in your behalf and you should do your homework. Spend an extra day or two. You'll thank yourself a lot later. With that said, on behalf of everyone here at Solar Wolf Energy, I really want to thank you for following us and watching us and subscribing to our channel. And uh, if you guys have any questions or topics you want us to discuss and kind of review, please send them in. We'd love to hear from you guys. From all of us here at Solar Wolf uh, Energy, we thank you and take care.